there's been no expense spared for the games. But away from the shiny facades, the grimmer reality, including restrictions on basic rights, such as those to demonstrate. So they've made their protest global. Amnesty International came to Berlin to remind Vladimir Putin that the world is watching. Among the group, a representative of a Russian NGO that monitors elections. As president, Putin, just like any other head of state, is interested in public opinion abroad, in Europe and especially in Germany. I'm sure there'll be a reaction. Amnesty handed petitions signed by hundreds of thousands of people to Russian embassies all over the world. In Moscow, Amnesty directors handed a protest letter to the government. In sub-zero temperatures, a lone ballerina performed a dance to symbolize suppression of free speech. Imke Duplitzer, a German Olympic athlete and veteran of protests against China at the Beijing Games, was at the protest in Berlin. The activists who are speaking up now will have a hard time once the media attention has moved on. I just hope that the interest remains after the Olympic Games. Amnesty says it's not athletes, but sporting bodies and politicians who should be shouting the loudest.